Hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. I've never been on the jury before. I've played this game a lot of days. This is my first time. But what I'm looking for in a winner is someone that's played the game the best. Period. So this season is a little bit unique because you had two separate games going on within the same game. Natalie being voted out first and now potentially having a shot to win it all is one of the greatest comeback stories ever. On the other side of that coin, you have people like Tony and Michelle that never had to go to the edge and can make the argument that they stayed in the main game the entire time. It's going to come down to their arguments and how well they present themselves and as a juror, what you actually respect more. I mean, I got to experience both parts of the game this time. I experienced the edge. From a physical point of view, the edge is harder to deal with. At the same time, you don't have the stress or mental anguish that you have to go with dealing with people because you can't be voted off of the edge. Natalie's a competitor. She's fierce, you know? She worked her butt off on the edge, day in and day out. Natalie could get my vote, for sure. She played the edge better than anyone else. No doubt about it. It's ironic that because she was the first person sent to the edge, it actually gave her a huge advantage being on the edge. She learned how to find advantages before everyone else and kept it secret for a long time. She leveraged her experience there. That's smart gameplay in my opinion. And I like that. Even if I was the one that was conspired against in that situation, I can respect it. Tony's won four immunities. Tony got himself to the end of this game. He hasn't had one vote cast against him the entire time. He was vulnerable with seven and six people left and he was never on the block. He was never targeted. The relationships that he created actually, you know, were real. I love Michelle. I think she's a sweetheart, but I don't think Michelle really has a shot to win this game at this point. She kind of blew with the wind the entire season and she went wherever she could fit but she was never really in charge of anything. And at her own admission, she was kind of left out of everything. She ended up at the end by default. I don't feel like that's someone that played the game the best. I would like to hear Tony stand up, own his game, say that he played a strong game from beginning to end, and not make any excuses about the person coming back from the edge not cry about that and um, just own the fact that you know he was able to stay in the game where he didn't have a second chance because he didn't need it and that's how good he played I like to hear Natalie stand up and say you know she was dealt a hand and played that hand to the best of her ability and even though it might not have been a great starting hand, she was able to turn a loser into a winner. I see both sides. I do. I can see both sides. I can see merit in both paths. And I think there, either path to victory could produce a winner. I always thought if I was ever on a jury, it'd be a big responsibility. And here I am. So you better believe I'm going to take it serious. At the end of the day, I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure that I vote for the person who I think played the game the best. 